realize how amazing the Griffies are. A father and son play Major League Baseball together. One is 40 and the other 20. They beat the odds. It was really a great story on both ends. For Junior to get to the big leagues so quickly at the age of 19 the previous year in 1989, now in 1990 at the end of that year to play with his father and for his father to still be productive at the age of 40. In his 18th major league season, Griffey Sr., a career 296 hitter. I'm probably the only person or father to hear this from the on-deck circle was, come on, Dad. And a base hit in his first time up as a Mariner. Father has a base hit, sons at the play. This is history. The reunion of father and son, the improbability, one of those things is, I would never see that in my lifetime. To be able to be out there and play the game, you know, with your son and with your dad. As a kid, without a father, is something that, uh, that would have been a dream come true. The Griffies were in the same batting order and the same outfield, making one moment all but inevitable. Oh, no, don't, don't talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. That just grounded him. You just, you want me to talk about him getting grounded, don't you? When I first got in the outfield, I said, I'm going to cover three square feet, and the rest is yours. Sammy shoots a high fly out of the left center. Junior just kind of drifts over and just snatched it, just cool as could be. And his dad's sitting there trying to catch this ball. I started ducking because I didn't know where the ball was. I thought I was going to get hit in the head. I didn't think it was funny. So what I did was I jogged off the field, got in, into the dugout. I said, uh, come here. I said, you're grounded. And I took the car keys from him. They were the talk of baseball and having plenty of fun along the way. Most unforgettably on a September night in 1990, when senior and junior made even more history. Whose home run was better between you and Grandpa? Oh, gosh. Oh. Uh, mine was better. Because? What was mine. yours better? Because he had no pressure. He already hit it, and he touched home plate. He was like, that's how you do it, son. Kent's had some success against the Angels when he was in the American League prior to joining the Mariners. Fly ball sliced to fairly deep left center field. Devo White back to the track, the wall, makes the leap, and the old man has done it. One more time, fly away. So the night in Anaheim, after senior homers, we're high-fiving at home, and we're walking back to the dugout, and I said to him, Junior does it right here, man. We got history, back to back, father and son. Such a short period of time, it seems like Senior and Junior have done so many things as a first for father and son, but they haven't done a back to back home run truck yet. 3 0 pitches hit deep in the left center field, and the shot will look up, and father and son have hit back to back home runs. My, oh my, it's that in your baseball history book. The first time in history that a father-son combo had hit back-to-back -back home runs. So yours was better. Mine was better, because he was already, ain't nobody yeah, was on. We asked Grandpa, what's he going to say? Gonna say his was, he going to say his went further. I say mine went out faster. <laughs> he, he just did a little line drive, just went over the wall, and I hit straight away center field. So I, I had the most pop that day. I was there that day. What I remember about the game is, is, is certainly the two home runs, but the, the fun that Ken Griffey Jr. was having playing with his dad, their joy of just being with each other as dad and son was something that you'd never seen. And it was so special that you just had to appreciate it. You just had to enjoy it, recognize the specialness of it between two people.